Hey, this is John Young here with The Weekend Handyman. Now, this is the story of two chains. These are roller chains here. Um, this particular one, just to, I'm going to kind of go through things, is one I just purchased here from my local, my local uh, uh, farm center. And this is the one that I needed to, to deal with. This is off our snowblower. We have a, um, a tractor mount, front mount snowblower. And this particular chain is an unusual chain. Now, they are both size 40. And they, I'm going to show you them together here. If you look at the space and such, pretty much they, they are identical uh, for the sprocket. That part really doesn't... Uh, isn't there's a much uh, much if any difference in the uh, in the sprocket size of uh, you know the little gap here the big difference comes is this particular chain is again meant for a snowblower that means that there's a little bit of space and you can probably kind of see that here compared to this particular chain that doesn't have that space that space includes these little these little o-rings little rubber o-rings or plastic whichever they are they must be a rubber and what this, because it's on the snowblower, this uh, roller chain here will keep the moisture out of the chain. So it will last longer in a wet situation like a snowblower. Well, after about 10 years, the uh, the things, the, one of the gaskets must have given out. And we had some corrosion uh, in there and, and it broke and, and snapped and popped itself apart. Now, to get this chain this is a special order chain. There's only two of these in the state of Minnesota right now, so they're going to get me one. I have snow, so we're just going to use a regular, uh, regular 40 um, uh, size 40 roller chain, and uh, be able to use our little connector to put it together, and we're going to be good to go. But I wanted to show you. This is the, the uh, typical connector, and if we line that up, you should be able to see that the the pin for the connector or the with the standard chain see they're just a little shorter and that shorter uh, pin won't allow us to use this as a connector for this chain because there's not enough uh, showing there to get that little uh, plate and the catch on for the the connector whereas if we're using a traditional chain see that how much additional is, is showing now i can put that little piece on and i can put the clip on and we're good to go now, because of this not being as sealed and such, and I'm only going to probably be using this for about a month until the new chain comes in, I want to seal this chain or, or give it as much protection as possible. So what I'm going to do before I put it, uh, put it into service, I'm going to use this, uh, this fluid film. This is a company that has been producing some, some different uh, lubricants and such. And what I want to do is I'm basically I'm going to soak this, uh, soak this chain in this so it will get in there and inhibit any moisture and any potential rust with what I'm going to be doing. This I have used in a variety of different applications on pieces where they could get rusty. One of which was a lawnmower blade. I decided I would paint this on or, or kind of coated a lawnmower blade on one side but not the other. One side went through the season with very little rust showing. The other side you could actually see some rust. So fluid film some pretty good stuff, and that's what I'm going to be soaking this chain, getting it all nice and lubed up. And you can see it's pretty greasy right now, but I want to just make sure that we're not going to uh, have any rusting in case I don't get a chance to replace this before the end of the season. And we still have about two months to go, and rust and these types of things can set really quite quickly. Anyway, just want to give you a little thumbs or a little heads up here. Um, you can give me a thumbs up in the video. Sure, that would be cool too. But if you are working with roller chain, they tell you the size. Let's see, right here, you can see it. I think there's a little 40 there you can see. They will tell you the size on the chain. And most of the time of what it is, there's a little 40 right there. But some of them in wet situations are going to have these gaskets and you're going to need to do make it a special order instead of just ordering something or picking something up off the shelf. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Hopefully that'll uh, give you a little help when you have those applications where the roller chain breaks. For more tips and how-to videos, go to WeekendHandyman.com.